Hi, this is Mark from Corelight. Let's take a look at using Yara rules on a Corelight sensor. Yara is an open source file analysis framework that allows rule authors to write signatures that examine file characteristics and create alerts when files match those characteristics. Because Yara signatures inspect the contents of files instead of just hashes, they are more resilient to changes that malware authors can make to thwart hash-based detection mechanisms. With Corelight's new Yara integration, Yara rules can be uploaded to a Corelight sensor and applied against files seen in the network traffic. This functionality gives security operations teams more options for customizing their detection capabilities to their own network by obtaining Yara rules from information sharing and analysis communities, from open source communities, and by writing their own Yara rules. Let's start by taking a look at how easy it is to import your rules into a Corelight sensor using Fleet Manager. Each configuration policy can have one Yara rule set applied, and all of the sensors configured with the policy will get the same Yara rule set. A Yara rule set is a collection of one or more sources or rule files that will be bundled together and sent to the sensors. Here I have a rule set which contains one file. In the file is a set of Yara rules designed to detect RDP files that exhibit features consistent with the Midnight Blizzard, aka Cozy Bear, spear phishing campaign. This campaign used malicious RDP configuration files to cause targeted devices to initiate RDP connections out to attacker-controlled RDP servers. These RDP sessions mapped local resources from the targeted computer into the RDP session so that the attacker-controlled RDP server could harvest sensitive data and information out of the targeted computers, and even place malware on the targeted computers. Once Yara rules are in the Corelight sensor, they will be evaluated against files that are observed in the network traffic. Let's take a look at a sighting from one of the rules applied to this sensor. Yara sightings come across in the new Yara Corelight log. Here is a sighting for a file that matched against a Yara rule. It shows the file unique identifier, as well as the MD5, SHA1, and SHA256 hash of the file. It also shows the file type, the rule name, and the protocol where the file was observed. It also contains any metadata associated with the rule. In this case, the rule author has included a description of the rule and a link to an article about the attack, both of which would be useful for an analyst who isn't familiar with this rule or attack already. Finally, the Yara Corelight log includes the name of the file as it was extracted to disk, in case an analyst wishes to review the file firsthand. Searching for the file unique identifier, we can quickly locate the files log entry with some of the same information, but also including the file name if the file name is available from the protocol stream. Finally, there is a record of a file unique identifier in the transaction record in the protocol specific log, in this case, SMTP. From here, we can see that the file was an attachment to an email from jeff at ukrtelecom.cloud to liz at bikesandmore.biz. To investigate the situation, we have several threads we can follow. Let's search the SMTP log for other emails involving this source email address. It looks like Jeff, if that is a real name, also emailed Ben. Let's look at the files associated with the email. Typically, for email messages, the first file is actually the body of the email itself, and any other files are inline images and attachments. Since this transaction had only one file associated, this likely means that unlike the message sent to Liz, this email contained no attachments. However, Corelight automatically extracts links from SMTP traffic and logs them to the SMTP links log. Here, we can see that the email to Ben contained a link to download an RDP file as well. Let's check the HTTP log to see what happened. It appears that a client on the network reached out and successfully downloaded the RDP file. The next thing we can also check is whether there was any outbound RDP traffic, which will be located in the con log. The same client that downloaded the RDP file over HTTP also made an RDP connection to the IP address that the RDP file was downloaded from. Given what we know about Midnight Blizzard's tactics and what they can achieve after a machine has connected to their malicious RDP servers, we should treat this machine as compromised, as well as the credentials of any user that was logged in. 
With Corelight's new Yara functionality, we were able to detect potentially malicious RDP configuration files, and the world-class network evidence collected by the Corelight sensor made it easy to quickly understand the whole situation, all parties involved, and make an action plan for the next steps in incident response. How can Corelight's new Yara functionality help your security operations team gain better visibility into the files in your network traffic? Thanks for watching.